Scott Brown here. In today's exciting episode, we build attic storage. Right. Let's go around here. Today we go up into the roof space and maybe you've got a house like this or maybe you've worked in a house like this. Trusses all throughout the roof space. Without changing the structural elements in the roof, we can't do anything about those trusses. But today we're going to build a platform in and around the structure of a roof that you can then use for storage. Attic storage. I'm a brave, but this bloody stiff cut from fish. So you can see the space that's up there. And there's a bit of stuff to clear first. <sighs> first we need coffee because it's gonna get very messy up there. I'm kind of not looking forward to it. So Pada's doing architraves this morning around this window and a window in the other bedroom there and all the plastering has been done in the hallway as well it's just parts of the house that have been untouched since the house was built and the owners just used an opportunity while there's no kitchen and the house is turned upside down a little bit to sort those things out this kitchen is almost ready to go Sage's just got to do a bit more sanding here and then he's going to start painting and we're all on schedule for the cabinets to arrive Monday, I believe. So, be a kitchen here before you know it. I am procrastinating here. I know I need to get up on that roof, but let's talk about the laundry instead. There's going to be laundry cabinets through here. So the washing machine had to come out. And people still need to wash their clothes. So with an extension lead, you can do so right here. I got voted to hook up the plumbing temporarily so the owners would have a working washing machine. I should probably go up into the roof now, right? Damn it, damn it, damn it. So this is the general area where the platform's going to be and that's because you know over there we've got a lot of supports for the roof and same down here here are those trusses that I was talking about you can't do anything about them they have to stay there but we can do something about this bed and the insulation and that's what we need to clear Yeah. This is something I like to call the two t-shirt advantage Where you come to work with two t-shirts because you know you're going to sweat one out And then you have a fresh t-shirt and you're ready to go Add a glue, liquid glue. 
We've got to find a way up to the ceiling space. I think I've got one. One thing that I did here was I made it so all the bows are facing upward. Now this is true for any time that you're doing any kind of structure that is going to have weight on top of it, whether it's floor joists, rafters, things like that. You, um, As you're cutting the timber you find the bow and then you point a little arrow on it um, to show which way is going up. You might not be able to see that but that's what this is here, pointing upward. So then I put it like that and the idea is if there's any you know, movement in the timber over the, over the years, it's straightening rather than bowing more. Anyway, this is, this is my basic plan here. You've got walls going through here and over here as well. See that strut is sitting on a wall? So this is spanning from that wall to that wall with a bit of an overhang over there. So it's not too far for a 100 by 50 to span. And then you've also got these 100 by 50s under it that support the ceiling below. That's the basic structure up here. So I'm gonna nail all these into position, make sure there's space for plywood, and then we're gonna put some plywood up here. Because this is the wall here, there's some space between the framing that I've put in and the framing of the ceiling. So I've got these little packers here to make sure that my new frame is sitting on a wall so it's supported. And that's connected there. And then beyond it's connected over there. So we're about ready to put the insulation back. Let's do it. Oh wow. <laughs> I don't know if I've been this sweaty before in my life. Pretty dirty bro. Holy shit. Well, how do you feel? I don't feel very good Pardo. But the ceiling insulation is in. Maybe you it's time to get an apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I had to take the top part off because it's just too hot. Yeah. Wow. That is the sound of the plywood being cut. All the, <laughs> All the insulation is in place. Now we can put ply down. Oh my god. That's pretty good. Let's 
ました。結構奥ですか。Okay, first sheet up feels better already. The way we're fixing this plywood down is with these 40 mil zinc screws here, square head, and we're using this countersinking bit here. This is made for decking screws, and obviously, with a deck, you want your screws to look nice. It has a kind of soft surface there, so when it's spinning, it doesn't, doesn't damage the material. We're not that worried. About that up here, you know, it doesn't have to look pretty, but we are worried about the screw being hidden up here. We don't want to hide the screws, we want the screws to be discoverable in the future if you ever need to get to cables or anything like that below. And that's also the reason that we're not putting too many screws on. Ready to go, yeah? Woo. I have to keep going downstairs just to just to cool down. Um, if you're wondering how we check out around things like this. Key is to put something straight down first. So in this case, we made this as straight as we could. We have one check out over there. But now that we've got the straight piece in there, we have a reference point. All I did when I measured was I butted my tape into here, and then I just got to the point of the piece of wood where the ply and the piece of wood intercept, and then I just go 110 mils, and then two. 40 mil, oh, 270 mils, and then it moves along to this one. And then when I was ready to measure this way, I just go 60 mil in this case, and he just takes 60 mil out and he uses these measurements from the end. And we're just going to butt up to those ones. I want to leave some of the framing overhanging like that. Now I made that framing overhanging in case they ever want to build a wall in here surrounding the storage area, keep the dust out, that kind of thing. Um, I don't want to build the wall on top of the plywood because then you can't remove the plywood if you ever need to get below to lights or cables or whatever it may be. I always want to make that accessible. There isn't any plans to build a wall but just in case. <laughs> Needs to go that way a little bit. And then that will be okay. And then that won't be so tight. And then even this part will be better. But it's this part. I didn't take enough off here. There you go. Oh, look at that. That's satisfying. Wow, hold on. Oh, there's a gap we've got. Little uh, air gap. Amateur. It's an air gap putter. Oh. Just put airflow over the insulation. Yeah, exactly. I think that's a perfect fit. Yay. <laughs> it's the crowning moment, putter. Yay. Ready to roll? I'm ready. Good enough for hearing. Good enough for an attic. Wow! Oh, right here now. Yay, look at that. Look at that, you look so comfortable. You could almost make this a bedroom, Pardo. What do you reckon? No, I wouldn't sleep up here, but... <laughs> Storage, with a nice attic stair to get to it. <laughs> so the, the electrician will be back in the coming weeks. Kitchen's coming next week. We're gonna have smoker now. Thanks for watching this exciting episode. And, uh, 
The next one's gonna be about safety. I'm not joking. <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs>